level is love of wisdom. We know it is not compartmentalized. It is holistic. It is the all-round development of the person that we aim at in education. For a syllabus to become a curriculum, this is what we look forward, the all-round development. And whenever we think about literary and cultural activities, we think about the creative side of human beings. An imagination, which we say, does not have any limit. And that is where creativity touches. And the trajectory, the shapes it can take, are so many. Maybe in the years ago, <clears throat> whenever we think about literature, so which is also probably part of literary aspect that we have, creative, something creative, something creation. And that goes back to the original creation. And if you remember Plato, the philosopher, he thought this art, writing, everything was going to corrupt human beings. Because there's only one creation, anything that is happening here, they are imitation or the shadows of that at various levels. So he thought young people should not be exposed to such things. And he actually wanted a philosopher to be the king, to rule. But we know we have discredited all those things. We've come a long way. Giving all these opportunities for students to express, find their fullness in life through various organs of expression. And at this very outset, let me especially congratulate the team that was guiding the activities in the college and also the students of all these years for the honor that we continue to cherish. Last four years, we were the toppers in Bangalore University in literary and cultural activities. So let me especially congratulate the teachers who were guiding them in the past years and also the students who made it possible. And I wish it would continue at a larger scale. Otherwise, for me also, it will be something like a humiliation, right? Because I've come in and then suddenly if we drop, I mean, leave it that side, my personal credit apart, then we have to continue to grow, to achieve and flourish in the sense, new phases, new batches of students coming in every year. They come with their own character, individuality, uniqueness. And that is where your imagination, which has no limits, should find its own ways of expression. And sometimes as I get old, I feel probably we have that gap that we always mention, the generation gap that is happening. But the new students, do we fail to understand them? Or maybe are we trying to be so dynamic enough to deal with them? The trends change, fashions change. So years ago, we always looked to the classics, classic literature for that matter. And when psychology as a new science or social science developed, if you remember, they look for some of the clues, some of the terms that are coming. They went to Greek classics. So we thought classics contained the whole spectrum of life. And sometimes when we today's, go through today's artistic expression, sometimes we wonder. If you go to American movies, maybe you will find technology. 
is that the whole life is about we wonder. Or when we used to study, we had classics from Indian literature. Ramayana, Mahabharata, all those writings. And we could see the touch of life in all those. And today, when we hear about all this technology, it is computer, the fashions, and how far we can get to that substratum that we all developed as human beings, the cultural aspect, how much we can recapture it. It needs a lot of time, patience, and dedication. So let me especially challenge the new office bearers and the students and staff who are in charge of the clubs and associations, how much we can relate ourselves to the roots, how much solid we can become in our activities to make our life much more meaningful, to make our contributions lasting towards this edifice, human edifice that we call culture and tradition. So I wish and pray all of you will think about it reflect only from silence the beautiful flowers of culture can come out. So this year's activities, I'm very proud to be with you today as we inaugurate it and we hope to have a wonderful, productive year of cultural activities. Your fruitful, creative expressions which will be lasting, which will make you much more rounded in your personality, which will ultimately help us all positive and creative in our life. All the best. Thank you.